Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in my little blacksmith shop. Today we are starting the story, and I am so excited. Good news is we will be able to explore a lot of the game mechanics, build a lot of different weapons, do some mining, explore the map, see what's going on. Supposedly there's a city, some caves we can go see, and a lot of little hidden features like some gems we can go looking for. Bad news, there's really no story implemented in the game yet, but that's okay. Uh, there's still a lot for us to see and do and be a part of. So let's start with our immediate surroundings and look at our little shop here. We've got our chest full of 100 copper coins. Let's close that so no one can steal any of those. Then we look over here at our workbench. And we've got, let's look, some schematics here to make some cool swords and axes and hammers. And what's this piece of paper here? Uh, it looks like that's just a review of the tutorial. So we'll ignore that. Looks like we got a couple guards up here. Can we grab any of that? Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, we can grab this. What is this? Edo equipped. Ah, a lantern, uh, but we don't need that lantern, so let's turn that off, and we will hang on to that in case we need to light our way later on. So this appears to be our front door to our shop, and we can open and close it, and there is the outside world. Um, okay, and let's go see what's beyond door number one here, and our bedroom. Nice little bed, looks like there's the tutorial book if we need it, some cheese, and an apple, and uh can be planted to make more trees ah so we could grow some trees looks like we got a pumpkin and some potions up there uh what do we got on our bed an acorn it looks like and a book all right and then what's this so this is credits okay so this is the people that have made the game so if you want to pause and look at all that and all the hard work these people have done and we do appreciate it guys for this fantastic game Let's go and see what is beyond door number two over here. Uh, looks like that is the ledger on who has bought things. And outside we go. We got our furnace. And it looks like we start with some copper ingots. Very nice. Uh, ooh, we got a horse. Hello, horse. What is your name? Do you have a name, horse? No. Uh, ooh, back in the distance I see something over there. We'll have to go see. Uh, cargo unlocked. So I'm assuming you could load things on Mr. Horsey. Can we get up here? All right, nice. What's this say? Left mountain button to mount the... Ooh, we can drive the wagon. All right. Um, so we will have to check that out later. I'm guessing we can put like ore or trees or something in there. All right, because as you can see, we got a grinding wheel, which wasn't in the tutorial. So I'm assuming we can sharpen our weapons. A blast furnace to make some ingots. A saw table to saw lumber. And I'm assuming we can make guards and hilts and other things like that. I see a house up there. What's that there? Is that a portal? Ah, we'll have to go unlock that portal. And what do we got? A church way over there. That's neat. Um, I see someone up. Oh, there's a house rendering in there. House we can go look at. So quite a bit for us to go look and see. Um, what do we want to start with? Do we want to explore our surroundings or make something i think we want to make something because that is why we are doing this game it's a blacksmith shop let's start by getting this stuff out of the way uh so excuse us um schematics i'm just gonna throw you on our table there and sorry note that got through on the ground we're gonna pick you up and we're gonna throw you on this table as well so you're out of our way but we do appreciate you note let's open our store and ta-da there we go um, so I think this person out here, this adventurer, we can equip with better equipment. And if we click on the screen check mark here, here we go. Um, you can see we can send them to dungeon level 1 and they need 40 equipment quality. Or dungeon level 2 and they need uh, 100. Uh, it looks like they got 12 to start. So they'll go out and I'm assuming find us things? I don't, I don't know. Um, oh, please tell me you're our first customer. Ah, you are our first customer. Um, so let's see what our friend here needs. They are an initiate farmer here to pick up that copper two-handed axe. Well, let us help you out, friend. Um, let's get some ingots on the furnace here. And we'll drag that one there. And this one we'll drag over here. And let's drag this one here as well. There we go. I think we're going to need three because she said two-handed axe, right? 
Um, yes, that copper two-hand axe. So that will get all nice and warm and toasty. So why that's doing that, can we select it? No, not yet. Oops, um, oops, let's make sure my mouse doesn't show up on the screen here. There we go. Sorry if the mouse shows up on the recording. I've been fiddling with it so it doesn't do that. And it's been, I've had to re-record this like twice now because it'll be in the middle of the screen and I just don't like that. Poor recording quality. I saw in the tutorial that happened. Luckily it was over the text box. So it wasn't that big of a deal. And now that I know it's an issue, I'm trying to avoid it. All right, so let's get ourselves a two headed axe um there we go and we'll back out and now it is hammer time and we are going to make ourselves that axe head and hammer 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 away there it is uh oops we do not want to change it let's change it back there we go <laughs> all that with just one swing of the hammer and dip it in the oil and it is cool and we are ready to put a grip on it so let's come back into our crafting table here and kerthud right onto the table and we're going to get this two-handed grip and we'll put that on the end of the axe and there we go uncommon copper two-hand axe so we are going to bring this to our friend the initiate farmer and they like it and we get the beautiful noise um let's see we made a hundred or no we made 54 copper pieces Look at us, our first sale in and done, and we didn't burn our hands or burn the shop down, so I consider that 100% of a success. Down in the comments below, let me know if you're playing my little blacksmith shop. Give me some tips, hints, tricks, anything like that, anything to make my life easier. Let me know if there's some place I should go explore. I know there's like some gems we can go find. I saw a portal, someone in a portal down there. We'll have to go unlock that portal. But anyways, let me know in the comments uh, anything I should do um, and to help us out. Uh, here's our little shop there. It's kind of cute. I like it. Oh, we have to. Ch can we change the title? Ooh, we can't. Okay, left mouth button. And let's, um, let's change it to, uh, there we go, Tooth Buds Blacksmith Shop. And done. All right, appropriately named now. Uh, better than, I shouldn't say better, but appropriately named now. And we have our friend with the beautiful pink armor coming on in. And hello, what would you like? Blacksmith, I need a one copper one-handed hammer. All right, we can do that for you, my friend. So back out to our back porch. And I think that hammer will need two ingots. So there is the first one. And here comes the second one. And we will get on those bellows and warm those bad boys up. They are still cooled. The impatience is killing me. All right, and here we go, heated. So let's get these over onto the anvil. There is a number one and a number two. Come on, come on there, friend. Oh, he doesn't want to get out of bed. It's nice and warm in there. All right. And number two onto the anvil, perfect. And let's go to blunt and uh, blunt hammerhead top. Um, I guess we're gonna go with that one. Let's see if this works. And back to hammering. I I like the game so far. The graphics remind me of like early 2000s games I play on. And we leveled up. Uh, we'll have to check that out in a second. P to view that. Um, Back, you know, in elementary, middle school, these games you'd play uh, on the computer, like almost like a learning simulation game, maybe? I don't know. But I I, I like it. Glad it's uh, on Steam. Glad it's only 10 bucks. I don't want to pay much more than 10 bucks. Uh, but anyways, this isn't a review episode, so we're not going to get too much into that. Um, let's see if we can get this grip on there. All right. And let's... Uh, the hammer is caught on the table. And oh, there we go. And the table just spits it out on the ground. And let's give it to our friend here. Does he like it? He does. Fantastic. And what do we make on that? Another 40 copper. Uh, let's go ahead and close the shop for now. We'll go ahead and close that. Um, so I know we can make things ahead of time. So like if we wanted to make one of each or go ahead and start making some of our own grips and guards, uh, we could do that as well. But I think for the rest of the episode, I want to do a little exploring. Show you guys some of the map. 
to because we just did a little bit of the you know the shop function we made what 94 copper um so let's uh let's head over to that portal actually you know what we got to uh check out our level up um uh, that didn't load let's come back in here see if maybe we get to be inside uh it's not letting me it was p to view our level up right all right, for some reason that's not loading. That's interesting. We'll have to maybe when I load and come back in, we'll check our level up. Um, but let's head over to this portal and unlock the portal because, like they said in the tutorial, unlocking portals uh, is very important. Uh, so all the way we run, dun dun dun, and we will highlight all of these, turn them to a nice pretty blue, boop boop boop, and boop and whoa into the portal realm so that's the one we just came through looks like we would have to unlock this one yep got ourselves a friend here and some portal entrances over there big old tree let's see who this is you guys say anything no they got some killer glasses on looks like they're just hanging out here in the portal world so let's hop back through the portal and woo get thrown at the lamp there uh, let's go up this hill here and see what we got going on there. Uh, can we hop the fence? Yeah, we can. Yes, very nice. So what's this say? Does that say my little blacksmith shop? And what's this other sign say? Uh, click on me to buy. Okay, so it looks like we can buy this. This appears to be the same house that was in the tutorial. Alright, I dig it. We'll eventually buy that. That gives us a little bit of a goal to work towards. Got all this room back here. Let's see what's over here. Just some open area. Some rocks. I don't think we can mine these rocks. Uh, and we'll just... Any fall damage? No fall damage. Nice. Uh, we got a bridge going into snowy territory and some heavily armed guards. Bridge guard. It is getting dark out, so I don't want to venture too far from our little shop over there. Let's see what this little house has to offer. Oh, it's got a little uh, elevator there. Not elevator, but like winch can we um get up there let's go up here excuse me um got a flower pot there all right let's go back down here and see what this is what do i got i see some pole arms some what did that say gloves uh or leather okay and another leather cuirass. I know I'm mispronouncing it, but it looks like we can buy some stuff for our character. What do we got here? Some skill books, some guards, and some uh, grips. All right, let's try just for... Sh nope, it's still not working. That's all right. So it looks like we, this is just a little shop there. Um, we've got something way off in the distance there. Looks like another castle, but this... Ooh, it got really dark now. Uh, looks like there's a church there, but it's too dark. I'm scared of the dark, guys. Let's go back to our house so the boogeyman does not get us. Let's see what we got here. A well. We'll run by the well there. Our adventurer is still there, standing guard. And let's, uh, let's close the door. And we will take ourselves a quick little nap. So I'm going to nap, and I'll see you guys after our nap. All right, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakeys, everyone. Uh, we had ourselves a good little sleep, and it's looking like it's a little more sunny out. So I wanted to run up to the church, and let's go take a peek at that church. Uh, down in the comments below, like I said, you know, let me know if there's places I should explore. Let me know any tips, hints, tricks, things like that I should be aware of. You know, if you got yourselves... Ooh, it's getting foggy here. Um... Let me know if you have yourself a little blacksmith shop going and how it's going. And apparently it's raining on us now. Uh, so that's cool. We got weather effects in this game and they actually do make a difference on your view distance. Uh, so up here to this church. And we're going to kick the front door in and say hello. Uh, what do we got here? A nice rug. We got a bulletin board, notice board with a dagger sticking out of it. Uh, can we interact with any of this? Nope. Uh, all right, over here to the table. Some books and jewels and some bread and cheese. Can't interact with any of that. That's okay. Into the main part of the church where all the pews are. And up front we got ourselves a podium or a lectern. And that appears to be one of the portal markers. 
Huh. I wonder if that does anything. Can we highlight it? Nope. All right. Well, we'll have to keep that in mind. Let's see. It looks like there's a viewing platform up there and some viewing platforms up there as well. And we got some statues flanking us. All right. And it looks like it's still raining outside. Rain, rain, go away. Come back some other day when we're not playing my little blacksmith shop. All right. Let's go ahead and head back out and open the door here. And let's just see. It looks like we got a cemetery over here. Uh, any names on the gravestones? Not that I can read anything on the back side. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, ooh, we can highlight this base. Can we move it? We can highlight it, but we can't do anything with it. I wonder if that means anything or if that's just a production error. Uh, so the church has a couple of oddities so far. Very nice. Uh, looks like there's a campfire and a person over here. A little trail. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, what's that say? Paladin? Paladin. Okay. Looks like we, I'm guessing this is a part of it, and that trail goes that way, but we'll save that for uh, another time. Another time indeed. Let's head back to our shop, and we'll uh, get one more customer in here. Make some more money. So we're going to run down the hill. We're going to get our cardio in. I was really wishing our uh, skill panel or whatever that was would open. That's that's odd. Oh, we got a gravestone here. Uh, do do do. Nothing here. Okay. Um, back to the shop, and we will open up and sell someone a, another weapon. So we can also, and maybe maybe we'll do this in the next episode. Uh, we can make ourselves a pickaxe and go mine some ore. So instead of buying the copper bars, we could probably go find some copper, mine it, melt it in the furnace to ingots, and use that and probably make more money that way. Uh, so let's say open sesame, and we will bring another customer in. So I think if we look at either of these, um, this will tell us, like, all right, so we sold the copper two-handed axe for 54 to, uh, I can't read that name, on the first day and it sold for a total of 54 so it breaks down each item so that's pretty cool a nice little representation of what you are doing Ooh, we are out of the guards or hand pieces what a uh, copper one-handed hammer all right my friend so let's do that one-handed hammer for you so we'll go ahead and get these copper ingots on the forge and while those are warming up we'll purchase ourselves a one-handed guard uh, or grip excuse me so grip uh, one-handed grip and let's increase that to one there we go one and place order um, so smashy smashy uh, okay why can't we smashy smashy it was putting a lid or something on there there we go, smashy, smashy. Let's get ourselves this grip and take that inside. Those bars are staying nice and warm in there. And let's put our grip up on the table so that is ready for us to use in a minute. And we need to make ourselves a one-handed hammer. Make sure these are nice and warm. And copper bar number uno. And let's grab the second copper bar. And it is behind it and we'll put that there. So Z and all right, basic hammerhead. And now it's hammer time on the hammerhead. And two and three. I feel like I'm an aerobic instructor. And four and one and two. And there we go. Basic hammerhead. And let's dip that in the oil. And that is ready to go. And we'll come back inside. Drop that on the table, and oops, hold on. No, we did this wrong last time. Uh, let's move this away from that. There we go, and we're gonna grab the hammerhead, and let's attach it there. Perfect, so a rare copper one-handed mallet. Um, I don't know, is he gonna take that? Um, One-hand hammer, let's see if he takes it. He did, all right, another sale well done. And what did we make? We were at like 184, so uh, about 50 copper or so. 
that's pretty cool. Again, liking the game so far. Graphics not my favorite, but uh, serviceable. I'd rather have good mechanics over uh, great graphics. So like the video if you've enjoyed it so far so I can keep making my little blacksmith shop videos for you guys. Plenty to do, obviously. A lot of exploring, a lot of crafting, a lot of mining we can do because that's what we did today. We saw our uh, hopefully future home up there. We unlocked the portal, saw a couple things over here, but it looks like there's still plenty for us to see and do. We went ahead and made a couple of items and sold them to our first customers and made ourselves a little stockpile of cash, so that is good. Uh, comment down below on your blacksmith shop things I should be doing in these videos and like the video and if you don't mind please subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next My Little Blacksmith Shop video.